This baby is just three weeks old. Even its mother may not yet be aware of its existence, but there is a huge movement and change going on in its entire body. In this period, the cells rapidly multiply and change. The spinal column also begins to take shape in this period. The cells that grow fastest in the fourth week are brain cells, in other words, neurons. Some 500,000 neurons form every minute. Neurons are the longest lived group of cells and live with us, without ever being renewed throughout the course of our lives. The neurons leave the spinal column at the end of the fourth week, and another great miracle takes place here. Neurons are fully aware of where to go and what to do on this journey. They never lose their way. There is no room for error in this process. So how is it that neurons with no eyes to see or ears to hear find their way without getting lost? There is absolutely no possibility of such an immaculate journey taking place by chance. The answer is clear for anyone of reason and good conscience. Every cell in the human body was created for a special purpose, and specially located where it could perform that task. Every detail in the human body is the work of Allah's creative artistry. As revealed in the Qur'an, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. What is in the heavens and in the earth belongs to Allah. Allah encompasses all things. One of the flawless structures in the brain is the glial cells that assist the neurons. Glial cells are made up of fibers that permit them to act much faster than neurons. We can compare these fibers to a highway which the neurons proceed down. Through this highway, the neurons proceed to the correct address in a convoy. This traffic never becomes snarled up, and there are never any accidents, because every neuron sets out in perfect order, using the information encoded within it at the right time, and in the right manner. This journey undertaken by the neurons is literally like a migration. The neurons that reach the outside of the spinal column now begin forming layers and establishing the brain. You can think about development like a play. A play that follows a script that is written down by the genetic code, but it has no director, it has no producer, and it has a bunch of actors that have never spoken their lines before. Despite all this, you pull the play off. To me, that's a miracle. Once the baby has spent six months in its mother's womb, almost all its organs have taken shape. Its hands, nose, heart, and brain. Brain growth is very fast in this period. The number of neurons in the brain has reached 100 billion. Trillions of connections are established between them, and the number of these connections continue to grow non-stop throughout life. Science is still unable to explain how these connections are established. The electric currents that form between the neurons permit uninterrupted communication between the brain and body. This is the moment when the baby first opens its eyes to the world. A long period of learning now awaits it. The baby will learn how to use its eyes, ears and feet. At the same time, it will develop the ability to speak and think, which Allah bestows on human beings alone. To that end, it will make use of the nerve cells that constantly multiply and establish connections between them during its nine months in the mother's womb. The sense of smell is one of the first to develop. 
That is how a two-day-old baby recognizes its mother. The last sense to develop is sight. The world is not at all clear to the eyes of a newborn baby. The baby only begins to see its surroundings like an adult. When it is six months old, it can now follow moving objects and perceive depth. The neurons constantly store information during the baby's maturation. The brain of an 11th month old baby is now mature enough to distinguish culture and spoken language. <laughs>